Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will tell you how to add the recipe feature to your app. The recipe feature allows you to add recipes with images and step-by-step -step instructions, letting your app users create delicious dishes at home. You can also allow the app users to add their own recipes. Let's see how it is done. If you see that the recipe page is already added to your app, click on it. If not, click on view all, search for recipe, and click on the page to add it. The existing app users can add the recipe page into their app exactly the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added recipe page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it. From here, you can change the page icon. You can select a solid icon, an outline icon, an image from our library, or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for your mobile app and website. Now let's move to the content section. Click on Add Recipe. The recipe dashboard will open. Here you can check all the options. Manage recipe, manage category, manage users requests, manage reviews and general settings. Let's check out Manage Recipe first. Click on Add Recipe. The Add Recipe pop will appear. Select a category. Now select a subcategory. Go ahead and select a cuisine. Now provide some details. Select cuisine type that is vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Now select a mode, easy, medium, or difficult. Enter the recipe name here. Now provide the cooking time. Set an active time. Next comes calories. Enter number of calories and the unit. Click here to add images and videos for this recipe. Now comes recipe yield section. Enter serves and serving size. Next comes start making the recipe section. Enter ingredients and its quantity. Tick mark this checkbox if you want to add a substitute of this ingredient. Click on the plus icon to add multiple ingredients. From here, you can delete the ingredients. Next comes direction section. Enter step-by-step -step processes of preparing the cuisine here. Click on add image to provide an image with each step. Click on the plus icon to add more steps. From here, you can delete steps. In the added by section, you can enter the person's name. Once you are finished, click on save recipe to continue. On the dashboard, you can see the recipe has been successfully added. From here, you can search the recipe by its name. Click on Add Recipe to add multiple recipes. From here, you can edit and update the recipe. Click here to change the status. From here, you can delete the recipe and click here to view the recipe. Now let's move to the Manage Category section. Here you can see all the categories along with their subcategories, total recipes, recipes added by owners, and recipes added by the users. From here, you can search the categories. Click on Add New Category. The Add Category pop-up will appear. Provide all the necessary information and click on Create Category to create one. From here, you can edit and update the category. And from here, you can change the status of the category. From here, you can add a subcategory to this category. Click on Trash icon to delete the category. Next comes Manage Users Requests section. Here you can check all your user requests. Let's move to the Manage Reviews section. Here you can check all your reviews. You can even enable auto approval for reviews from here. Next comes General Settings. Under General Settings, you will see Configuration Settings, Language Settings, Cuisines, and SMS page. Under Configuration Settings, you can see Admin Email. If you want, you can change it from here. Some other settings that you can manage from here includes the show filter, which allows users to add reviews, default image, sort recipes alphabetically, and allow users to add recipes. You can even enable auto approval for user recipes. Under language settings, you will see all the text and alert messages being displayed on your app. If you want, you can change and update them from here. Next comes Cuisines. Here you can see all the cuisines. 
If you want, you can add and save a new cuisine from here. Click on the edit option of any cuisine to update it. By clicking on this trash icon, you can delete the specific cuisine. Under SMS page, you can add the terms and conditions and privacy policy for your recipe page. Once you are ready, close the recipe window. Let's check out page style and color scheme now. From here, you can change the page elements color, font style, and font size. If you want, you can also hide borders from here. Once you're finished, click on save and continue. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.